Okay, after this intro, I'm just going to talk about the stove itself, but for right now, I just wanted to give you some close-ups of the uh, valve. Turns it on and off, right? The igniter, just press it right here, like that. And just the stove overall. Obviously, it's sitting on a canister right now. Okay, so that's basically the the up close. This way you'll know what you're looking at when we get to the uh, the action portion of the video. This is the box it comes in. Palm size. Obviously this all folds up just like it would on this pocket rocket. Just even the um, size wise the box is quite a bit smaller. Okay. And obviously this is what the pocket rocket looks like. Take this off the canister. Okay, this is how it folds together, right? First off these little arms on top and go up. Close it up. Little O-ring on the bottom. Drops right in the canister or in the uh, container. And that's it. And then uh, this is an eight-ounce canister. They make a four-ounce canister, about you know obviously half the size. And that's it. All right. I would totally get another one of those. Okay, I'm uh, getting ready to use this stove right here. Now, what's special about it is that it's going to be the hundredth time it's been used. I've had it for uh, almost four years, okay, comes in this little case, got it off of Amazon. I think Color Relover did a, a video on it around that time and pretty much everybody and their grandpa bought one off of Amazon. I think I paid like seven bucks, I just looked today, they're still up there for, you know, anywhere from like eight to twelve dollars. I happen to own this uh, pocket rocket, right, from MSR. I use it, build quality better than that. Um, I have a 25 year old whisper light from MSR. So I have no doubt that this thing will last a lifetime with regular maintenance. But for the price, right? This thing's 40 bucks. That's a fifth of it, right? So this thing is fantastic. Uh, I usually keep it in a bag that goes in my work truck. I heat myself up soup, hot cocoa, whatever at work when I'm out in the field. I'm going to use it for stuff like I do right now for heating up wax in a soup can for another project and another video. And uh, we take it RVing because uh, well, I have a two burner propane uh, stove that runs off of the propane tank. A lot of times for breakfast, my wife has like a, a griddle that goes over, or a hot, I don't know what you'd call it. It's basically like a, a griddle that goes over both burners, or sometimes she's doing stuff on both of those. But she likes to have, um, you know, coffee in the morning. So she has a little percolator which sits on this, and these obviously fold out. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, it's I've, because I wanted to see how durable and how long it would last. I've kept careful track of exactly how many times it's been used, and this burn is going to be its 100th burn. So you have to conclude that it's pretty reliable. Um, sometimes the electronic uh, igniter doesn't always work. It's always worked on mine. I've never had an issue, but I, I've seen online that some people have issues with it. And of course, this is like a cheap Chinese knockoff of, you know, basically this, right? So, you know, you can have issues and you could definitely get a dud, but for seven, Seven dollars, totally worth the risk. So paranoid have I been about it not working that usually, especially when I'm going RVing and my wife wants to have that for, you know, doing the coffee in the morning, I always bring this along as backup. For backpacking, I pretty much use that or something like that, whatever. But, okay, so that's that, right? I'm going to fold these back in because I'm just using a little soup can and uh, we'll fire this up. There we go, my soup can on there, and I'm going to melt my wax, all right? So that's it, 100 burns, never a problem.
Not saying this one might not end in disaster, but never been a problem.